Um, when we show in our green classes, uh, our green trail classes, everything has to be on the ground except for walkovers. So as we progress, as our horses get broke, or as in our junior and senior horses, our amateur select youth, they tend to elevate poles, which makes the horse use their feet a little bit more. Get up over the pole, it just makes it a higher degree of difficulty. I like to set them a, a lot of random varieties so the horse um, rates that pole again, but it also sees, hey, that's a higher pole, I have to pick my feet up further because we're gonna see that at our quarter horse shows. So, and, and I will start most of my young horses over poles that are on the ground, but it doesn't take very long. I start go ahead and getting them accustomed to a race pole because they're going to see it. And the hardest thing with a horse is to keep them honest over the race poles because they have to, one is get their stride, but then physically pick their foot up higher to get over the pole. Some horses um, tend to not want to hit a pole at all. They're, you know, they don't want to, they have a lot of self-preservation. They don't like to hit the pole. Some horses, after they hit a few, as they're learning, they really don't care. It doesn't bother them. It's kind of like people. Some people drag their feet everywhere and wear their heels off, and other people can wear a pair of shoes for a year and never hardly crease it. Uh, so it just depends on the horse. Okay, as I approach this walkover pole, um, your eyes are your biggest key in this. Um, most people tend to look at the pole, and most horses' feet tend to follow where your eyes are going to look. So if I look at the pole, I'm going to probably push my horse's foot right on top of the pole. So alleviate that problem. I'm going to look at this pole about, or at the dirt in front of the pole about four inches, because that's where I want my horse's foot to land. So um, being a younger horse, I'm going to take, as you notice, this pole is elevated on one end and low on the ground on the other. So I'm going to go about halfway up this pole and see if I can find a good step. Four inches. Okay, he took a little extra step and got over it. Now, I've got another pole coming. He got over it, I was very happy, but he took an extra step, which I didn't want, so I'm going to try to alleviate that one this time. Okay, here for me is a prime example of a miscommunication between me and my horse. The first pole we went over, he took an extra step, but he got over clean. So, depending on what the judge saw, in my mind, I can't plus that maneuver because I know I didn't want him to do that. But a judge doesn't have that knowledge inside his head, so he could plus that maneuver. Probably not, probably a zero. This pole, I was very happy with my foot placement, but he hit it. And that, for me, probably was close to a penalty one, depending on what the judge heard. So I have two different maneuvers. I have one I like, but I occur a penalty. Then I have another one that I don't like as an exhibitor, but I didn't have a penalty. So I need to try to figure out the happy medium between the two. So we'll start again. Much better. Let him continue on. Once again, a small tick right there, but depending on the size of the arena and what's going on, hopefully it's a judge that can hear good, and he probably would have heard that. I would have got a penalty half, but still, you could actually probably plus half that maneuver. One more time. I'm going to take him a little higher this time and see if he'll think about his foot. Ah, oh, he didn't think. I'm going to take him over here and see if we can get a little higher again. Maybe he needs to think about that a little more. Very nice. Okay, that right there, I have a little bit of trash in my shoulders and my frame. So I'm just going to bend him around again, try to limber him back up. I'm going to come right back at this higher side of this pole. Very nice. He really thought about that. I'm going to come back at this other high side. Once again, a little tick. Whoa. 